and then ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we came over here, we got off them slave ships and we were sold to who? Our enemies. Did it say our friends? Because your friends ain't gonna put you into slavery. And your friends ain't gonna put you at a lower state. Go ahead, read. For bond men. For what? Bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And slave women. So you women, y'all are with us too. Don't think that y'all not that y'all out of the picture. Y'all was in slavery with us too. Read. And no man shall buy you. I mean, no one should save us because you had what? Marcus Garvey. You have Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. You had the Young Lords, the Black Panthers, Fred, uh, Hampton, Fred Hampton. All, they could not save us. They could not save us. Give me 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So, when we got off those slave ships, we had to what? We had to serve our enemy, right? Read. I just, I read it to you because we didn't keep his commandment. Exactly, exactly. But watch this, read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. In hunger. So and then we, in order to get fed, we had to get fed who? Who, by who? The slave master, right? He gave us the scraps. That's why today you're seeing us eating the, the pork and all that. What did uh, John Weatherspoon say from the rooter to the tutor? That's what That's what we do from the rooter to the tutor. That's what our people do. They stay eating that pork. That stuff came in from slavery. All that stuff, right? Go ahead, read. So for food, slavery, we had to get it from the master. Today, you got your what? You got your Wawa, you got your McDonald's, all that. We don't own none of that stuff, so we still go to our masters for food. The grocery stores, shoppers, all that. Read. And in thirst. And in thirst, the water. They gave us a ladle of water in slavery. A ladle. Worked all day in the hot sun. And we got a ladle of water. Come on, man. What kind of what kind of friend is that? That's your damn enemy. A ladle of water. Today, you got your Fiji. You got your, was it Deer Park? All that. We don't own that stuff. You got to pay a water bill. If it rains from the sky and you had a barrel, you got to pay for that. All right, come on, Reed. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, the clothes you got on, the clothes we got on. We don't own the textiles, none of that, the ships that bring the stuff over. We still go to our enemy for clothing. Same thing as slavery. The master had to clothe us. Read. And in one of all and things. In one of all things. A birth certificate, a social security card, all right, a passport. Because in slavery, when you had to, when the master sent you to the store or something to get something, what did he give you? A piece of paper saying, I'm. This is uh, so-and-so owned by master who so-and-so. So he would carry that paper around. That's the same thing with a passport. Who owns you? That's what it's showing. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. A yoke of iron upon our neck. Right here. Same thing when you watch the slave movies. We got a yoke of iron around our neck. That's how they did us. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Until what? Until he have destroyed because thee. Because when they took them yokes of iron off our neck, we no longer knew who we were as a people. We no longer knew our customs, our traditions, our heritage, none of that stuff. Give me that in, uh, Ciroc, real quick, Sirach 17, uh, about our heritage. Real quick, real quick. So we lost our heritage, we lost everything. So when you bring it up today, our people has been living in the white man's world. That's what we've been living in. We haven't been living. There's different worlds out there. Israelite is a world. When you read in Isaiah 45, we are a world. But we've been living in the white man's world. We've been living by their laws, their commandments, their traditions, their customs that they took from everybody that they conquered. But we haven't been keeping ours. We fell off from that when they took the yokes off. Read. Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. Uh huh. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. Uh huh. And the law of life for inheritance. And the law of what? And the law of life for inheritance. Because when we start keeping God's laws, we're going to have life. Right now, our people out here, we're spiritually dead. Like that cross you got on, give me that in Isaiah. That cross, that's a graven image. That's a graven image. You shouldn't even be wearing that thing, man. You shouldn't even be wearing that. If, if Christ got shot in the head, would you be walking around with a bullet around as a necklace? No. 
So why you got that image on you? That's a graven image. You ain't supposed to be wearing that. How's that? That ain't representing you. Christ didn't rise from that. Christ didn't rise from that. That ain't what I believe. Give me that in the Bible. In Isaiah. Christ didn't rise from that. So Christ died, Christ died for you to wear that cross? Or did he, did he die for you to wear that cross? Or did he die to give you grace so you can keep the laws? That's breaking his laws. No, you're supposed to be wearing these because of that. It didn't say wear a cross in the Bible. It said wear your friend. That's my opinion. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. Give me that in numbers about the fringes. He said wear fringes. Then we're going to get on that cross. He said give me, give me that about the fringes. This is what of Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Now you gotta go. Go ahead. Speak unto the children of Israel. So it says, speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes. Bid the them that they make them what? Fringes. Nah, that they wear a cross around their neck. Fringes. They wear what? Fringes. Fringes. Not a damn cross. Read. And the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders. A ribbon of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you a fringe, uh -huh. that you may look upon it. Yep. And remember all. Nah, that you may look upon your cross around your neck. That you may look upon it and remember all the commandments and, of the Lord. And remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. Because that damn cross ain't going to make you remember the commandments of the Lord. Right. Well, it's going to make you think of white man Jesus. Right and all you got to do is believe. All I got to do is believe, brother, and have faith. I don't have to keep the law. That's what I was going over earlier. He didn't come and do away with the laws. We still got to keep the laws as a people. So what does it profit you to wear that cross? Because it's not going to keep you remembering God's laws. Read that again. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.